All right, what's up guys? Uh, I know I've been lacking on the videos recently, but today I'm gonna go over a couple of my favorite recent pickups from the past like six months or so. We got some t-shirts, some hoodies. We got some Rick, we got some underground German designer. So uh, I'll just get into it. Uh, also, sorry for the lower quality of this video. I have to use my phone because my camera uh, doesn't have an SD card right now. I lent it to my friend and he still hasn't given it back. So sorry about that. Okay, so I'm gonna go over the teas first. I only have two of them. All right, so the first tea is this Bjork tea. Um, honestly, I think it's like a bootleg tea, but I like it. Um, I like Bjork. I have debut on cassette. So I don't know. I thought the Bjork logo was very cool. So I also wanted a shirt of it, but uh, yeah. That's the first tea. All right, so the second tea we got is this Blade Red Light Tea, which I just got off of the most recent restock on Blade's website. I've wanted that t-shirt for so long, but the resale on it has just been crazy, like $150, and I think it was like $40 ship, so I was happy to pay that if I didn't have to pay $150 and I can support one of my favorite artists. A little embarrassing, but I think the t-shirt's cool, so it's whatever. Uh, so I'm gonna be going over my hoodies now. I also only have two hoodies, but they're pretty heavy hitters if I do say so myself. All right, so the first one we got is this number nine, 2001 school visual comedy, kind of uh, athletic style hoodie. I was unsure about this. I kind of, I got it for Christmas. It was like my big gift this year. I don't know, I was unsure about it a little bit. I like it. I think it fits really interestingly. Like I like to have some tighter fitting stuff because I do think that I wear a lot of loose baggy clothing um, when sometimes I kind of want like a slimmer fit. Yeah, I mean, it's just a gray hoodie. It says uh, number nine school visual comedy right on the little chest hit. And uh, yeah, it's thermal, it's pretty warm, but I could also see it being a comfortable like spring hoodie or summer hoodie. On to the next one. All right, so this hoodie, this is a zip up hoodie obviously, and I love this thing. This is from um, Crime Cowboy. He's a dude on Instagram, he's based in LA, and he makes a lot of these cooler handmade pieces. Lately he's been going for this like punk aesthetic, so I bought this back in October and I don't think it got here until the new year or until around Christmas, but it's absolutely one of my favorite hoodies ever. It's so comfortable and the zips are so nice. It's really loose and baggy. Yeah, I mean, this is absolutely one of my favorite pieces, at least from the past six months, probably all of last year, because I technically bought it last year. This is probably one of my favorite pieces that I bought all of last year. So uh, yeah, I love the fit on it. I think it's amazing. So yeah, on to the next piece. All right, so I forgot to mention this one, but I ended up really loving this shirt for how versatile it is. And it fits so loose and nice. And it's just this like button up kind of pink, cream, salmon color. I'm pretty sure it's a women's button up, but I love to wear it. I think it fits my body super, super well. It makes me kind of look like a cowboy, which I like. And um, yeah, it was like, two or three dollars at goodwill and it was honestly one of my best purchases this year by far before i get into like my favorite favorite items i think i'm just gonna go over my shoes the shoes that i've gotten in the last like six months so let's go over the shoes all right so we got these rick owens dark shadow abstract ramones um these are just the normal canvas you know nothing fancy no wax canvas no crazy graphic nothing uh, I just thought I needed some chunkier white shoes. So I thought I would spoil myself for uh, my birthday and I ended up buying those. And honestly, I've loved them as somebody who's like uh, five foot 10, five foot 11. That gives me like the perfect amount of height to be like six feet. And it's really great. <laughs> What's interesting with dark shadow sizing is that it's not as different as I thought it was gonna be from mainline. Um, the geo baskets I have are mainline and I got those in a 43 and a half 
and I got the Dark Shadow Ramones in a 43 because I thought the Geo Baskets fit a little tiny bit big after a while. And the Ramones fit perfectly. I was very, very nervous about it because I had heard online that Ramones, specifically Dark Shadow Ramones, fit a little bit more snug than Rick's mainline stuff. But from my experience, I got a 43, I sized down a half size and they fit pretty much perfectly. So yeah. And look, it wouldn't be a favorite pickups video if I didn't include these, the Geo Baskets, the classics. I love these things. I have yet to apply any like leather cleaner to clean them up at all, just from the last like six months or so. Uh, this is how they look. And I feel like they're holding up pretty well. I do need to clean them, I would say. Switch the laces, I've had black laces, and now I have cream laces. Overall, they're just such a versatile shoe. I literally can't get enough of them. Even though I don't always wear them in like the classic Rick aesthetic, like skinny pants and show off the monster truck shoes. I like to downplay my shoes because I don't think they're the focus of the outfit. Um, but in terms of like, Literally everything about this shoe is perfect and I can't wait to wear it for like years and years to come. And then the last shoes that I have are the Prada Cloud Bus Thunders. Uh, these I feel like I have been wearing quite a bit, especially before I got Abstract Ramones. I was wearing these a lot because I do love a chunky platform shoe. These are literally the perfect shoe for like that chunky platform tech wear aesthetic. I love throwing these on with like stuff that is not like tech wear, that is not, doesn't look technical or like gorp core. Like I feel like these kind of look like hiking boots, so I like to wear them with like jeans and downplay them a little bit and mess with the aesthetics. But um, yeah, overall, I mean, they're a black shoe. They're pretty chunky and, and they're really comfortable too. So yeah. So here is what I'm most excited about. These are the two pickups both from the same brand that I have loved the most in the past six months. And they're both, they're two pairs of the same pants, different colorways from No Faith Studios. Shout out Louis Doppelgarten. I'm not sure if that's how you say his name, but he really did some crazy things with these pants. I fucking love them. So we got the No Faith Studios flared denim with the distressing all over. They're very flared. I think the leg opening is like probably about a foot. These are the best, most versatile pants I have in my collection. And I don't know how I found this brand, but I'm gonna link it down below because everything that they have dropped recently has been just so cool. Uh, these pants were a little pricey, especially because I live in America. So the shipping was kind of a lot, but I would say these are worth it. Got both of the colorways. I got the black and the more normal, but also kind of like acid wash, you know, jean colorway. You know, I love both of these. I got the black pair first, and then I literally would wear them every day. So when they restocked the other colorway, I was like, I have to buy those two, and I did. And literally, these are the best pants. I just love them. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. I have other flared pants, but those take the cake. They're by far the best. I think they fit my aesthetic very well. Okay, so those were my pickups. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry for not posting that much, but trying to get back to it. As you can see, I got the sewing machine, so I've been making some clothes. I think I'm gonna do a video on that pretty soon. So uh, yeah, stick around. Thank you guys for bearing with me, and uh, I'll see you soon. Peace.